gram that I bought you, I basically got up to a half gram under the limit. Like I was, <laughs> I was like, just fill me up. So oh my God. I got for each of us, he dude swears this is the best weed. And if you're buying flour, they only give you a quarter of it. 92 LA, this okay. is your indica. He's like, dude, this is absolutely the best. The Moonshine Haze, the upper, that's a okay. sativa. And then we got um, Gorilla Glue, almost an ounce, which he swears this batch of Gorilla. My man was like, dude, this is my favorite. He's like, it's a hybrid, but you can smoke during the day. But then for the day, I got Jack Flash. Okay. No tangy today, though. No. But Yep. Gotta make it to the dog park. Omar needs to exert some fun the fucking energy. Hopefully there's some dogs. Yeah, but he hasn't really wanted to walk because it's been cold. So he's like, he gets out here, he's like, yeah, uh-huh. We're going. Spear, we're actually going north. Right? We're going north. There's a new map on the game PUBG, or as my friend Ern likes to call it. P-U-B-G. On that, we're gonna play that for a minute. I've gotta finish drawing for the rest of the afternoon. I got a big box coming. Some hot shit in the box. So hot that it's frozen. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh shit. Smoothie and a veggie sandwich over here. My man Ern. Yeah. Tried to eat it on the way here, so I'm gonna find out. Like I'm your fucking wife or something. I got care. No, so I can play video games first. Uh -oh. Boom. Artisanal. You can't have none. Go get some water. You haven't had water since the dog park. <clears throat> well, I've been drawing all afternoon. Gaming, he's been dog. in there practicing his gaming, so now he's all hype. But I'm gonna game with him for a little bit. A little bit. The box got shoes. delivered downstairs, but they haven't registered it yet. Oh, so I'm still waiting on it. Yeah. bought me some wax today, but now he's smoking all of it. And uh, yeah, another day in life. We're really uh, doing a training seminar, trying to get Earn to calm the fuck down when he plays video games. Yeah. We realize this is what triggers my mood. Yep. He stresses me out. We had a better day. We should end the day with video games. Yeah. So I can just leave. You I can can't, throw me out. At I any can't point. start the day with you being crazy. It's too much. It's like having a crazy girlfriend. If I wanted a crazy girlfriend, I'd have a crazy girlfriend. Ooh. Takes it out. We gotta get this alcohol so we can clean this pipe. Need a new banger because we fucked this one completely up. But they're really expensive. And I don't wanna go buy another. Come here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. Almost like retail price bid, I think. And uh, one day, like the day after Black Friday, they got accepted or something. I like totally forgot about it. It was just like those shorts. Which I don't need right now. And then this box. Shout out to RSVP. <laughs> Fucking this box right here. Uh, my man, on release day, Cooked up some pears. Let's hope so, because this box is also just full of just cardboard. Alright, there's shoe boxes in here. I was about to get it's like damn it's the one you get. <laughs> Nested. Just so everybody knows but we're not playing no games. All three pairs. Here we go. Coats full of coats. 
Audi 5000. Well, I'll see you tomorrow or Sunday, I guess. Yeah, I'll probably could be over tonight to play. Who knows? Tonight? No, I doubt it. Tonight's Friday, I guess. <laughs> All right. You're addicted as fuck. I was going to sit down again, but I don't want to do it. Yeah, I hear. I'm leaving. All right. Later. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, zebra, yebra, yebra, zebras, the frozen yellows. So, again, shout out to RSVP Heat for coming through for your boy. Um, I'll discuss this for a second because I already know there's going to be confusion and comments, probably some hate and whatever, whatever. But here's how I operate with shoes that I want. Um, I've explained it kind of before, but things change over the years. But uh, generally when there's a release, generally, I'd say 90% of the time, I have access to get the release for retail. 90% of stuff. Not everything releases everywhere, so there's always places, like there's always situations where I won't get something. Uh, the Kith mid for instance, only released at Kith. So it's not guaranteed that I'll get that pair. I have people all over the place that help me get pairs of shoes. It's awesome. I love every single one of you. So generally I'm good. If I'm not, I use, I try manually of course, but I also use a service. Like there's many services I've used. I've made friends with a lot of people. I've mentioned every single one that I've ever used. If someone gets me a shoe and they offer a service, I will tell you about it always. For this particular instance, RSVB Heat hooked this up. Our add to car service is 100% foolproof. Absolutely not. Shit changes all the time with releases. And this is just the game. Like, a lot of people hate bots. I'm not a fucking huge fan of it. Like, I don't love it. But at the same time, that's a whole, that's a whole nother vlog. We could argue and debate about, you know, whether they, it doesn't matter. But the game is the game, and you're only playing yourself if you don't play the game. For me, if I think I'm going to miss something, or if I desperately want to double up on something, I will use a service. I will use multiple services on one drop. And granted, I am in a position where people want to give me the service to help promote their service. So, and that's fine. That's how this all works. So that's a different position. I know not everybody can buy like three add to carts every time there's a drop. So you do need to build a rapport, find someone you want to work with, who you trust. Gener you know, everybody has an opinion. But they are definitely legit. Their services work. And when you hit, you hit. So what happened here is I actually ended up, because I was so worried about the frozen yellow and I knew I had one pair on the way but I didn't know until like literally the night before that my frozen yellows were secured so when the drop happened online that initial drop I had him run for me just in case whatever and three of them hit so I got three pairs of frozen yellows for retail well four pairs technically but three pairs via RSVP heat and uh yeah it's awesome basically before anybody tries to call me like superman re super reseller god one pair stays with me well, two pairs, two pairs stay with me. So one's for the desert. You got it. The other two pairs I'm giving out as gifts. Those are accounted for. One I have that a size swap worked out. The other one person is a size 13. So those are going out as gifts because to, just to clear that up. But yes, sometimes I do use services if I don't have a straight up plug. And again, if I have this crazy sense of panic, like I'm not going to get this shoe ever again. Talk about it. Get it all out on the table. There you go. But yes, um, using a service. A lot of times is a must. I honestly, I don't have the time, nor do I have, I can't stress out. I, I gotta get the shoes. So if I had to pay resale for every single shoe, this channel wouldn't exist. I'm not a millionaire in any way, shape, or form. And in fact, even buying all these shoes for retail is crazy expensive. So like it, having a plug is a gift and a curse. You know what I'm saying? Shoes today, I have on my feet. We've talked about all the other colorways that have released, do believe. So the last pair of the Pharrell Human Race Trails this is the teal pair. The the box is in there. I'm not gonna go get the box because we've seen the box. Um, but this is the teal pair. Da 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 da. Whoa, light. How you doing? How you doing, light? How you doing? There you go. Um, regular Pharrell upper on this one, so it's not the uh, different kind of knitting. I noted in the black pair and the multicolor pair, the knitting was a little different. In the teal pair, it's the regular Pharrell upper teal. Upper, there's no peppering. The word clouds is stitched into the right shoe. The word moon is stitched into the pink and black watermelon laces, as I like to call them. Uh, and then a nice little watermelon heel tab with the Adidas branding on the right, Pharrell branding on the left, yellow bricks, yellow cage, black 
trail sole light boost no insole oh, light insole and uh, this pair did not come with extra laces so uh, like I've said before true to size for me is preferred can half size down if I really want to but I also wear thin socks almost all the time so keep that in mind if you have a wide um, you might not want to be going to sizing down too much if you have a really tiny foot size and half down might be okay but there's no insole so you ain't removing nothing but yeah these are super sick the green colorway so it's between the green and tan colorway one thing i think is cool about this is that the tan colorway is on the inside of the green nice little tiny touch i don't even know if they really did that on purpose it's between the tan i like all of them all of them i think the black ones are the most wearable multicolors i really like tans i really like but i think these are probably my favorite there's really no rhyme or reason for it other than just the color scheme. I really like this kind of watermelon vibe, honestly. Just speaks to me on a deep level. But yeah, so it's, it, but it's really up to you. Like, whichever one's your favorite is your favorite. Everybody is different. Some people think, you know, whatever. But the laces on this one are super fire. And these laces are actually a little bit thinner. And like, they feel like a different material a little bit. So just so you know, if you're like legit checking or whatever. Completes that collection. Some people are asking me or saying like, that doesn't complete your collection. You don't have the Chanel for real. You're right. I don't, nor will I ever, because I don't like Chanel. And honestly, I think it's kind of hypocritical, but that's okay. But I think what's really hypocritical is that any other time, the hype beast crowd would be like, it's just a black and white shoe. Like it's black, it's white, it's lazy, but because it has Chanel on it and it's like super like exotic. So yeah, no Chanel Pharrell and friends and family Pharrell. I would love to have, but I'm also not going to spend Anywhere of the upwards of, you know, five, six, seven, eight, twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars for a pair of shoes. Uh, I love shoes. <laughs> um, I like having, you know, to get a lot of stuff, but I am not going to, yeah, that's, that's not the situation. So, um, yeah, so that's it for me, man. I'm out of here. It's been a crazy week. I've got to finish my last little bit of homework for the next week at SneakerCon New York. We have a drop on Sunday, 10 a.m., Skull Robots. Hoodies, long sleeves, and short sleeves, and there's black, white, and gray in the long sleeves and short sleeves. Only black hoodies. Yeah, see you that on Sunday. See you next week for a mystery drop, and also see you in New York. I'll be on Twitch throughout the weekend, be in my house throughout the weekend. I'm moving my arms a lot. I'll see you later. Peace.